Salutations, my name is uh, Phil, aka JC Servant. I play City of Heroes Homecoming, and I'm creating this video to help new players kind of get their start. I'll be breaking this up into several parts, uh, so you'll find different videos out there as I go through kind of the beginning steps of, of how to get into the game and really get started very, very quickly. Uh, some of this advice will be very specific to the homecoming server as we have a different, uh, shall we say, rules and NPCs and stuff there that you may not have in the other free-to-play servers out there. But uh, this is the one with the license, so this is where I'm at. A little quick history about me. I played City of Heroes way back when it first came out with City of Villains. Played those for a few months and that was like 20 years ago fast forward today homecoming got an official license agreement with ncsoft and i'm back and i've been having a ton of fun with it but i get a lot of the same questions from my friends so i kind of wanted to make this video to kind of bring them bring them through some some beginning advice here first off is is character creation uh, when you go to create a character you're going to be given a choice between city of heroes freedom and going rogue Going Rogue was kind of a separate expansion with its own storyline to take you through 1 through 20. And that area is very uh, unoccupied at the moment. I do not recommend it at all for new players. You want to start with City of Heroes Freedom. And eventually you'll be given the choice between hero and villain. You generally for new players want to start off with a hero because it smells populated. Population is important for grouping with other people. So uh, that would be that would be my advice there. I guess one of the choices you gotta make before you even get to this point is which server you're gonna play on. It will ask you which server. I recommend you play in Reunion because that's double XP and you can come play with me and my friends. And it's really easy to transfer servers later. So it, it's not a choice that you're locking in for all your life at all. In fact, I change servers all the time. You get five transfer tokens every three days. So it's pretty easy to transfer things around if you need to. So don't worry too much about your server choice. Just get in there and play. The next thing you got to pick after choosing City of Heroes Freedom is your origin. This is flavor. Uh, so think about the character you want to choose and just pick one or pick one randomly. It doesn't really matter. Your play style. Do you like to be a tank? Do you like to do melee damage dealer, range damage, crowd control? You have all kinds of different choices here to pick. And this is largely what you're looking for out of the game. It is up to you. Now, there is some general advice I'm going to give here, though, uh, in terms of, of a couple of things. One is, as you're looking through some of these, now, this is just general, this is a guide choice. Like, as you pick this, it'll then guide you to certain classes that fill that role. If you pick tank, for example, it's, it's going to point you in the direction of the brute and the tanker, for the most part. But sometimes you'll see these other choices, Peacebringer, Warshade, uh, Arachnus Soldier, and Arachnus Widow. These four here. I generally try to steer new players away from. These are more advanced classes. Uh, you really don't want to touch these as a new player. They're going to be very weak, relatively speaking, coming out of the gate. They they kind of come into their own later on. It's not really fun for a new player to jump into. So stay away from those four guys when you see them pop up. But other than that, you can kind of take a look what you want. Uh, one of the things that you're kind of looking for is you're looking uh, that you're thinking about is if you like playing solo um, or group. Um, or both. And some classes lend themselves more to group play. For example, if you're in the tank category, the tanker is very, very defensive and a little bit low on melee damage. Uh, this is a really great team player that takes the heat from other players, uh, like tanks and most MMOs. But as a solo character, he doesn't do quite as well. You will be able to play the game solo. Most classes can at least have some degree of solo ability. Uh, it's just, it's not going to be as, as a quick experience. Whereas the brute, the brute is got a lot more melee damage. So they're able to get through when they're soloing, get through missions faster, and they feel more powerful. But they don't they don't quite have the defense that the tanker does. They still make tanks. And a lot of this later on comes to how you've built your character as well. But when the chips are on the table, the tanker has a little bit more defense, the brute has a little more offense. And and so the, the brute tends to be a little bit better for solo play and certain other purposes as well. Um if you're going to go with uh, with melee damage, a lot of these, um, the Scrapper has kind of a lower survivability, as well as the Stalker. That might be a little bit easier to play in a group than solo, uh, though I've soloed with both of them just fine. Uh, the, uh, the Brute, of course, I mentioned before, pretty good in solo. It works well in a group. Under Rage damage, 
you have a couple different options here. The blaster does the most rain damage out of any class, but he's a bit, he's pretty squishy, so he works best in groups. The, uh, you can solo blaster, I've soloed a blaster, but I died more as a blaster, which is, dying isn't a big deal, but, but if, it can be frustrating. Cor Corruptor does a lot of support, uh, mostly, and they also do pretty good range damage. They work, they work really good in groups and are decent solo. They're, the defender is all support and his damage is pretty low so it doesn't do good in solo it's also very squishy so i wouldn't recommend defending unless you're going to be playing with groups almost exclusively because if you want to do if you want to be able to support and be able to solo then a corruptor might make a better choice there then we have sentinel so if corruptor is a more solo uh, friendly version of defender i would say sentinel is a more friendly version of blaster the Sentinel gives up some of the melee damage uh, that the uh, Blaster can do, some of that melee spike damage they can do, and trades it in for defense and survivability. Also gives up some range damage. This says 7 out of 10. I think it's a bit misleading. Sentinel's damage actually can be pretty, pretty high, but regardless, uh, they, they, they are really, really good in solo. I've, I've played one up. That's my main character is a Sentinel. I have a lot of fun playing that character. And I play them in groups sometimes. There's nothing wrong with playing them in groups. So they actually have an ability that works very good in groups called Vulnerability. So hopefully that helps provide a, a little... Oh, crowd control. You'll see the controller and dominator here. Controller, super, super good control. But very low survivability and damage. Really not great in solo at all. The Dominator on the other has good control and decent damage. So definitely better if you like to solo or mix in some solo play with your controller play style. Um, and here we have a category called support, which leads back to some of the classes we've already talked about. But you're going to see a new one here called Mastermind. And actually this one says pets also has Mastermind I'll listed on it. Mastermind has a lot of pets. The controller and Dominator will sometimes have a pet or two. Mastermind has lots of pets that's their whole focus in life and they actually make a pretty good support class as well so you got five support there and they're pretty survivable by virtue of the fact that their their pets will take a lot of the heat for you um when monsters event or bad guys get to my mastermind they die quickly but um they first have to get through my 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 large array of, of robots that i have so pick whichever kind of character you want to start playing um it doesn't matter which one and we're just going to pick stuff here uh, and then you get to choose your primary power and your secondary power now this this choice of power set and class is the pretty much the only choice that are permanent in the game if you don't like the choices you make here you're gonna make a new character and that's okay a lot of us make a ton of new characters uh this is a very old friendly game we have a lot of fun playing different play styles in here and there's so many to pick from as you can just see with the melees there's literally two dozen different melee characters you can pick here street fighting street justice titan weapons uh all kinds of stuff i'm going with staff fighting i always wanted to play with the staff um uh, and then just pick your secondary power i'm not gonna look too hard into these because it's just supposed to be kind of guiding you through and then you get to make the character customization what what you want that character to look like and there are tons and i do mean tons of different armors and types and stuff you can play this is purely cosmetic it's just how you want your, your your guy to look. And you can get into all the different choices, upper body, lower body, weapons. If you have a weapon, what does that weapon look like? So I have a bow staff. I can pick all kinds of cool bladed weapons, right? It's just really, really awesome. Uh, don't forget you have, um, if you'd like to have a cape, you can put a cape on your character. You put a mantle on there. You, you got all kinds, you put a jetpack on them. It, it doesn't matter all kinds of stuff he can have an aura he runs around with an aura turned on um blazing aura, whatever you want to pick on that guy you want to go ahead and, while you're on this go ahead and type your name in here and see if it's available if it's taken obviously um it, it won't work uh, so if we'll put a running man is available look at that um and you can even customize how your powers um are colored I, you know this isn't going to work so great on a melee character but uh, you can go in here with a lot of the the powers and give them like different colory effects so definitely play around especially if you're using ranged attacks and once you're ready to go go ahead and and 
hit run and it says do you want to play the tutorial you want to say yes if you're a brand new player uh, otherwise uh, say no and do you want to be a hero villain again i recommend hero it has more players if you like playing with other people if you're a loner and you like things to be a little more quiet go ahead and pick a villain that's fine but but hero hero i will say for villains the the, the beginning story arcs do give better rewards at the beginning so uh, villains do get an easier start and now you're in Atlas Park. Uh, we're going to talk about on the next video how to get a fast start, how to really get your character up and running very, very quickly. The game does not tell you to do in the tutorial, and you'll find that in the next video.